Good everyone, welcome to GeoTutors. So we're starting a series on gravity reduction. So our first part of gravity reduction, we're going to be doing the drift correction, okay? So after getting your data from the field using gravity method, okay, there are some corrections that you need to do. And one of those corrections is the drift correction, okay? So the first part, if you have yourself, what is drift in gravity perspective? So in gravity method prospecting, drift refers to the slow unwanted changes in gravity measurements over time, uh, not caused by what? Geologic features. Okay, so what does that simply mean? It simply means that when you've taken, the reason why you do gravity method on the field, so if you do the gravity meter, is to read the density contrast. The density contrast, okay? The density contrast in the subsurface. Okay, so if it's an odd deposit you're looking for in subsurface, and it's different from the surrounding, you need to locate that, okay, yes, since there's a change there, there must be a kind of mirror there, or probably if it's foundation um, investigation, you need to know if there's a cavity in the subsurface. Okay, so um, because there are some external factors that influences our regions, so one of those things that influence our region are called drifts. And what are the causes of drift? One of the causes of drift is the instrumental drift. So probably due to temperature, um, the gravimeter consists of spring, okay? And that consists of spring. So due to temperature, the time you are doing it, or movement, so there can be some kind of slack in the instrument that can actually change the, can actually in, affect the, what, the readings. Now, tidal effect. So due to the gravitational uh, attraction between the sun and the moon, uh, there's always that tight, so the head at as its own tight. So because of that tight, if you are taking your gravity region at that particular period, there is a subtle addition to that, to your gravity region. So, but the reason why we do gravity method is to know the subsurface density, the vibration. We don't want external factors like head tides, instruments, and the rest. So one of the first factors we're going to look at, or the first correction we're going to use that to correct our region we come from the feet, is the drift correction. Good. Now, why do we perform drift correction? It is necessary to ensure that gravity readings reflect only, only subsurface density variations and not external influences. Okay, as I said earlier. Now, how is it done? Good. One of the ways that has been done, that you will do on the field, is by base station reoccupation. Have you ever asked yourself why is it that we have to go back to the base station? Okay, after taking some readings or after some time. It is so that we can correct for the drifts, okay? Drifts are an external factor, so we can correct for that drift, okay? And interpolation also is a way that we can also correct for drifts. Yeah, from the, the formula that we use for our drift correction is an interpolation formula. Good. Okay, so let's look at example questions and solve on the drifts. Now, if you look at example question here, you can see the station. You can see they took a... They took the first base station reading. They took the second base station reading at the end of all the stations. So this is station one, station two, station three, station four. Okay. So at the, at the um, base station one, they took the reading at time eight o five. Then when they are done taking this at nine eighteen, they took the second word, base station. Good. Now how do we correct for our reading? So these are the readings they got. These readings are not the true readings because they are being influenced by what external factor. I want to remove those external factors that influences our gravity region, got it from the field. I want to remove them away. So for us to do that, we apply our drift correction to it. And that we have our formula as drift correction, which is GDC, is equals to G observe. G observe is your reading that you got from the field, this reading, okay? Minus drift rate. Gravity of base station two minus gravity of base station one divided by time for base station two minus what, time for base station one, multiplied by what, the change in time, okay? Which is time at that observe, okay? You need to G observe. So that time where you took this G observe, that is this T observe, minus time for what, base station what, one, time at base station one. Okay, so you can see in above, uh, when you're giving this reading, the first thing you need to look for is what, the change in time, okay? Which is this time change. You're going to do it for all the reading. Put it for all the reading, okay? So now, 
you want to solve for a change in time very simple that means for each station you're going to subtract the time for base station one what is base station one this guy the first base station okay the base station one so 805 minus so yeah this station okay that's the thing you observe minus it own self okay because it's the same thing as base station one so 805 minus 805 is what zero you write what zero yeah okay good so next is 835 minus what 805 that's what 30 minutes okay 844 minus what 805 that will give us what 29 minutes 855 minus 805 that will give us 15 minutes okay we have 903 which is what 3 minus 5 and that is 58 the next one 8 minus 5 that is 73 good okay so we are subtracting each this change in time this change in time we are subtracting each hmm? each read each time from what the base station time this first base station base station one time okay that's this guy here t observe minus t so you're going to do it for everything now okay next i'm going to solve for your drift rate okay so we are going to have only like one drift rate most times okay so and the formula for drift rate is this can you see which is what so you say drift rate they say drift rate say drift rate is it cost two you can see this what is here gravity at what base station two my gravity at what base station one over what time at what base station two minus time at what base station what one okay so very simple so what is the gravity region at base station two this is your region so at base station two this is second base station right so what do we have 2934.9 write it 2934.9 now gravity at base station one 2934.2 what point two you write it minus what 2934.2 we vary by what? What's the time at base station two? The time at base station two is what nine eighteen. So nine eighteen minus what eight two five. Okay, it's time at base station one. So this will now give us what? What this give us? So we have that z equals to what? So two nine three four point nine is minus two nine three four point two is equal to zero point seven. Everything divided by 73 right continue it and what will you have for that so you take your calculator you find 0 0.7 divided by 73 you have 0 0.0096 milgal power minute that's your drift rate you know when i say taunting rate it is per time okay milgal power per minute good now we have our drift rate now can you see our formula so I'm going to rewrite it because we start solving now. Write it. So I'm going to start for the correction for each. Good. So we know our now question. We know this now because it doesn't change. The drift rate will not change. So but your time change will change because of it depends on the station you are in. Okay, because this still observe and you have done for each of them here. So any station you are in, this is the time change for each one of them. Good. So let's start. So you see that what for the first one, you want to do drift correction for that. So and the formula is what GDC for the first one is what G observe G observe minus what your drift rate, have you? Which we have done. Then drift rate times what change in time at that particular what station. At that particular station. So our station is BS1. Okay. So with drift rate is constant. So what is G observed from our table? Our reading, which is our G observed gravity got it from the station. For the first base station is what? 2934.2. So you go back to your stuff, say G observed is what? 2934.2 minus the drift rate. What do you get as drift rate? Drift rate is the constant I'm going to use throughout. It's what? 0 0.0096 mil gap per minute. Minus what? 0 0.0096 okay mil gap per minute times what change in time so what is the change in time for that station that we are in at bs okay at bs 
the change in time is what is zero good time zero so answer you know your body mass you have to multiply fe multiply first before you subtract so that is 2934.2 minus what zero answer give us what 29 2934.2 what mil gal good now let's do for the next station okay station one so for station one now gdc is equals to g observe the same thing minus what the drift rate which is a constant to have solved already drift rate times what change in what in time change in time so this gives us what so what is the region here we got that what 2931 point what okay for the first for the first station is 2931.3 point point okay that is our what we got from the field our g observe minus 0 0.0096 times what the change in time what is change in time 30 times 30 so you take your calculator and do it just make sure you have to apply your board mass i think your calculator will correct the board mass with you but just make sure you are not making a mistake 0 0.0096 times 30 okay so the answer is um 2931.0 mil gal okay so you come here so you are doing the good question already the first one is what zero second one is what 2931.0 good let me see first one is what zero second one is what 2931.0 Point zero. Now the third one. So S two. So straightforward. Start solving. So two nine three zero point six. We have GDC is two nine three zero point six minus zero point zero zero nine six times thirty nine. That's the time. Okay. Can you see change in time for that station? That's nine. So that will give us what? Take your calculator. So nine three zero point six minus zero point zero zero nine six times thirty nine. That gives us two nine three zero point two three mil gal. Okay, you can see point two two nine three zero point two. Okay, next one S three. So our GDC is equals to S three. Our GDC is equals to zero point sorry g observe is what two nine three zero point four right minor drift rate we know our drift rate right we solved that in the beginning times 50. so if you put the calculator nine three zero point four minus zero point zero zero nine six times 50. that gives us what two nine two nine point nine okay so write it 2929.9 then next i'm going to solve for our what our station four which is what 2927.2 right okay minus 0 0.0096 times 50. so all that give us so if i the calculator times 50 Eight. okay where did i get my 58 can you see the change in time for station 4 is 58 so you say the answer is what 2927.15 okay sorry see it 2926 sorry 2926.6 sorry not 2125 point six. 2926.6 mil gal okay now for the last one for the base station to the second base station they're going to do for that also which is gdc is equals to that one is 2934.9 you got this from here 2934.9 so 2934.9 minus our drift rate of solve multiply by what by the change in time what's changing time there 73 good so now we have our so you first your calculator 2934.9 minus 0 0.0096 times 73. 
So that will give us 2934.2 mil gal. So you put all those your region in your table. Okay. So 2929.9, that's the last one we put in our table. Next one is 2926.6 and 2934.2. Good. So now that is how to solve for your what for your drift correction. So easy, so smooth. So uh now this gravity, this GDC, which is the drift correction you have done for this, it's showing that what you have removed the external factor that are caused by the drift. So this is any question has been given, just follow your formula stated here. Okay. You have to have formula, solve your drift rate. You can see drift rate inside, just solve it down. So you just be applying it in your formula and you are good to go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Thank you.